Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. So we're going to get a message from the ancestors today. I'm very much drawn to do this reading. Uh, I will tell you, I was doing a meditation prior to this, and I actually went into a dream state. Uh, lucid dream state where you know that you're dreaming and you continue the dream. Pay attention to those, okay? It was very telling of what's going on in my life right now. Uh, gave me a lot of insight. So pay attention to your dreams. The ancestors will definitely come through through your dreams and lucid dreaming especially. All right? Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading or Reiki session, yes, I am open for those. Feel free to book that. Uh, the link for that is in the description box below. When you click on it, it will say Lotus Spirit Tarot. That is my other channel, my business name. So yeah, you'll be at the right place. And then click book now and all the different readings I have available and Reiki sessions are there. Before I can even ask, before I can even ask, um, sacred purpose... <laughs> It's like you can't make it up. Uh, in my lucid dreaming, I was shown in a very cryptic kind of way of where I need to face some fears and go in a new direction. I'm not leaving here. It's just uh, adding to what I'm already doing. <laughs> okay? Something that, uh, you know, strikes fear in you. So, again... I, it, the sacred purpose, the eternal flame, the legacy that you need to leave, I feel like a lot of you are going to get so much information either from meditation dreaming or lucid dreaming especially. We have the 43 here. That is a seven. Sevens are highly spiritual. A lot of you could be on a life path seven. I am a life path seven, um, but you don't have to be. I will actually, I did the life path readings uh on my other channel, Lois Spirit Tarot, but I'll attach the playlist to the end of this one so you can check that out. Um, something is shifting big time. They are giving you messages big time. It's like they're pushing and pushing and pushing you to go <clears throat> towards this path. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you, it's going to be totally different than what you're doing now. Um, it can be like career, okay? Um, some of you, it's an extension like it is for me. Some of you, it's sadly to say and if you're happy you're happy but some of you it's breakups from certain relationships that you're in you are being pushed towards your north node towards your purpose i'll attach the north node readings to this too uh you can find out your life path and your north node uh there's a lot of free websites out there okay but taurus this is this is a big push it does not surprise me that this is coming out um, because it is our time, the next 20 years with Pluto moving into Aquarius, to lead, okay, to lead. We are going to lead through example. We are going to actually be leaders um, because the bottom of the deck, we're trying to make it so we have ide idyllic, 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 I can't talk times, right? The garden, the paradise, the Eden, and we're showing people that it can be right here on this earth. Okay, it doesn't have to be like it used to be, you know, when we look at certain religions and I'm not against any religion. They all have their peace to give. But, you know, like you got to suffer here in order to get to heaven up there. Not the case. Okay, heaven on earth. Life purpose. When we're doing our life purpose, it is heaven on earth. Um, and you're going to help people expand by you expanding. So we have the... 48 here right and that's a 12 12 would be a three in numerology we're expanding people's ideas minds we're sharing our wisdom where people can't see what the possibilities are we are showing them and i feel like as much as we laugh and joke around especially on this channel because spirit has such a great sense of humor that they are like let we, we got to get serious about this they're going to push they're going to keep pushing 444 four, four on the timer until you start doing that. Now, I want to be clear, because a lot of people get confused sometimes here. Well, I don't know what my life purpose is. That's okay. Okay? But your main life purpose 
is whatever brings you joy and bliss, whatever that is. Even if you don't think that it is affecting people around you, if they see you living your joy and bliss, it brightens the light for them to know that they can do it too. So a good example of that is, I cannot remember this gentleman's name. I saw a documentary on him though, and of course now I can't remember his name. Um, he was, a, I believe, well I know he was in the corporate world. I want to say he was a lawyer, but he was in the corporate world. And he never really did, he was good at it, but he never really enjoyed it, right? He never really enjoyed it. On his vacations, he would, uh, he would go into the oceans and do animal photography, right? The animals of the ocean. And one day, he just quit it all. And he just quit it all. And he went to do that. And that became a full-time career. And he is very famous for his, his photo photographs, right? For, um, what's the other one called? I can't think about it. the actual movies. Movies of these animals underwater. So... He was pushed. Okay, so it's it, it really is. It's like you were being pushed. And at first it wasn't like he was getting paid to do it either. He was just doing it. So that was his life purpose. That is his life purpose. Because it brought him so much joy. Brought him so much bliss to do this. Okay, so I just want to be clear. Follow that joy. Follow the joy and it will lead you. It will lead you like, you know... Little bits and pieces through the forest. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Six of Cups. Yes, this is following your happiness. This is a gift. Okay, the Six of Cups can be a gift straight from the universe, an opportunity straight from the universe that almost drops in your lap because you start focusing on the things that bring you joy. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be like when you were a child. What did I want to be when I was a child? What did I enjoy when I was a child? And then going back to those things and doing those things. And believe it or not, you could wind up having a career out of it. So again, this is about definitely showing others, right? This is you following your sacred purpose so others can follow theirs. It's, it's just time for Taurus to lead. Show me clearly. What is the message? Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah, six of wands. Look at the sixes. Sixes are about love and sixes are about being on the right path. And you have two sixes here. The six of wands is a victory. If you follow your desire, if you follow what your heart wants, truly what your heart wants. And that means you got to dig deep. You got to do the, you know, the deep dive. What do I truly enjoy? Or do I just want this because everybody else wants that? Do I just want the big house because everybody wants a big house? Right? This is where you're getting down deep. And once you start doing those things, even if it's just a little bit at a time, okay, get a book on something you love. Read that book, right? Even if it's just something small, it's setting the path or the pace or the light for spirit to come in and go, oh, Taurus is serious. Okay. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Getting deep here. Thank you. All right. Seven of swords. Start making a plan. Okay. You're cheating yourself out of not doing what you love not and I, it, yes it can be career some of you it's not career some of you it's like this isn't truly the love that i want i'm still here because of the kids this and that and the other no judgment here okay um i'm not telling anybody to to get a divorce it, you know who is who you know what's yours okay but the seven of swords is also like get a plan together right get a plan together start planning it it doesn't have to be the whole plan but just start with something today. What else do we have here? You can't make it up. I'm telling you. The Ace of Wands, when it comes to life in general, the wands are the closest to spirit. They're a very spiritual suit, right? This is what your spirit wants. This is what you came here to do, to be, to be with, okay? This is a newfound passion for you. 
life purpose purpose is supposed to be something that you are totally completely passionate about not i sort of like this it's like the passion. You ever know somebody, like I know they're bringing it down into the material world for you because they're giving me an example. If you ever know somebody in your life that has this obsession with this one car and the one year and the one model and they get it, right? They find a way to get it. Even if it's an old car and they got to restore it, it doesn't matter. They've got a passion for it. It needs to be that passion for this thing. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I said no judgment. Don't be afraid. Okay, I was talking about... That's so crazy. So crazy how it comes out. Okay, so my dream was not just prof prophetic for me. It's for you also. Because I very rarely fall asleep at a, in a meditation. And I'm telling you, it's inner conflict. Five of Swords is inner conflict. That's like, I'm fearful of this. I'm fearful of this change, even though I desperately want it, even though I'm so passionate about it. This is really what I want to do. This is how I want to spend my time. How am I going to make it work? Where's the money going to come from? I can't hurt this person. We've been together for 15 years. Like, this is all that inner conflict. Don't judge yourself. It will all work out right? This is the calling. When we see the judgment card come out, that is the calling for what your soul desires, for truly your sacred purpose. And now is the time. And it doesn't have to be an overnight shift. It's an overnight shift in knowing it and going, oh yeah. And some of you will be, some of you would be very drastic. It's just like you get up and go. You get up and quit a job. Not all of you will do that. Some of you will you know, take it slow with the breadcrumbs, get the plan together and start doing that. Either way, it is your calling. Okay? Very big message. Maybe the biggest we've done on this channel so far. I definitely think so. Um, since this channel's not even two months old. But it's been slowly creeping up in every reading and every reading, even on my other channel. Right, where I do all the zodiacs, the lowest spirit tarot. For Taurus and Pisces, it keeps coming up. Right? Keeps kind of coming up. Like you gotta start taking the lead. And you will be okay. Okay. And here's how I know you're gonna be okay. The bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. That's that nurturing you, nurturing your seed, right? Nurturing yourself. You will be supported. And I don't feel like you will only be supported by you because once you do that, the right support comes in. Okay, the right people, the right situation. If there's somebody not supporting you in this, then you know it's definitely time to go. Okay, so just a quick little story here. When I when I started my YouTube channel, my Lotus Spirit Tarot channel, because I was called to, that was fine with my uh, husband at the time. We are divorced. Um, but there was a point where I couldn't do both. I had to make a choice between doing my tarot or my desk job. I was doing private readings like I do now, but I just, it was too much, right, to try to manage both. And I basically told him, I have to do the tarot. He goes, well, what if you don't get enough viewers? What if you don't get enough clients? What if you don't this and that? I said, I get it, but I'm telling you, I have to do it. He was not happy about it. Not at all. Not, not one inch supportive of it. He's like, fine, do what you want to do. He's not a bad person. He was scared. And I get that. And we are still friends to this day. But we did wind up divorcing. Because he wasn't supporting. Right? Wasn't supporting me in that way. And that's... I either needed the support or I didn't want anybody. Right? <laughs> if you're not going to support me, I don't want you around. So don't be afraid. Everything works out. Show me clearly. We have the Cave of Echoes here. Can you hear the echo of music in Fingal's Cave within... Your heart always has a song to sing. A retreat will do good for your, the soul. Against the, again, I know I butchered that, guys, but basically the song in your heart. You need to go sing the song in your heart. The trumpets. You're being called up. This is your moment. This is your time. So it's almost like spirit saying, you know, get to it. They're going to keep pushing you. They're going to make things very uncomfortable in your life until you do. And it doesn't happen just once, right? Like, this last six months for me has been more than chaotic. 
crazy even, right? Because I was trying to stay in that place instead of expanding, instead of going with the flow, instead of, you know, looking at bigger horizons here. So it is time. And they will keep pushing you and they will keep bringing more chaotic things into your life until you finally snap and go, okay, I'll go on the path that I'm supposed to go on. All right, my list. <sighs> Again, I am open for personal readings. Don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one and all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.